Hello grade 11s, I'm back with another grade 11 chemistry exam question video. In this video, we're going to be focusing on a question that looks at intermolecular forces and physical properties. Very important section, you'll always get a question on this in your tests and exams, and it's often given in the following format, where they give you a table, different substances, different melting points, boiling points, vapor pressures, and so on. Let's jump right in, but... If you've not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I do mass physical sciences videos, lots of exam practice. Let's go. We kick, kick start this question with a definition. You'll always get definitions. This one is melting points. Boiling points are pretty common definition, but melting points is just as important. Here's how to define melting points. It is the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases of a substance are at equilibrium. You must say temperature. Okay, both solid and liquid phases of the substance are present during melting. If you can recall from last year, this is the heating curve. You can see here's the melting point, and at the melting point where temperature remains constant. Okay, my line is a little bit skew, but temperature remains constant. This axis over here was temperature, and you can see that the solid and liquid phases are present. The next question says from the substances in the table, we've got propane, butane, pentane, and heptane. These are all alkanes, which you'll learn about in grade 12. They want two substances that are liquids at room temperature. Now, room temperature is arguably around 20-ish. Some people say 18 to 25 degrees room temperature around there. So we need to look at the melting points and the boiling points to determine which of these substances are in their liquid phase at room temperature. And the reason I drew that curve that I showed you, a reminder of the grade 10 work, is because it helps often to get to the correct answer. So Something is a liquid when the temperature is the between melting point and boiling point. So between its melting point and its boiling point, that's when a substance is in its liquid phase. So if we think about water, for example, water's melting point is at zero degrees Celsius. Its boiling point is at 100 degrees Celsius. Any temperature between zero and 100, so say 73 degrees or 20 degrees or whatever, liquid water is in its liquid phase so basically if we take a look at our table and we look at hmm, which substance 20 degrees must fall between the melting point and the boiling point and if it falls between the melting point and the boiling point then it's in its liquid phase so say take propane for example propane's melting point is at negative 188 and it boils at negative 42 already which means at negative 42 degrees celsius it's a gas which means that higher temperatures than that, room temperature, it'll be a gas. For butane, it's basically the same thing. Its boiling point is at negative one already. So if you look at pentane, the melting point is at negative 130. Then as we increase the temperature, it's a liquid, it's a liquid, it's a liquid. At 20 degrees Celsius, is it has not yet boiled. It is still a liquid. It only boils at 36 degrees Celsius. So pentane is one of our correct choices, as well as heptane. Heptane only boils at 98.4 degrees Celsius, which means that all the temperatures above negative 90.5, but before 98.4, it's a liquid. So heptane is a liquid at 20 degrees, room temperature, 25 degrees, 30 degrees, at 40 degrees, at 50 degrees, it's still a liquid. So your answer, pentane and heptane. Name the substance that has the highest vapor pressure. Now, you should remember that the higher the boiling point, the lower the vapor pressure. They have an almost inversely proportional relationship. They do the opposite of each other. So the weaker the intermolecular forces, the lower the boiling point, the higher the vapor pressure. Because if your intermolecular forces are weaker, you don't need a lot of energy to overcome those forces. So your boiling point is low, which means it's easy to separate those molecules into gas phase, meaning you have a high vapor pressure. Okay, so just remember, low vapor pressure, high boiling point. High vapor pressure, low boiling point. So the one with the highest vapor pressure will have the lowest boiling point. And the lowest boiling point is negative 42. Remember, the bigger the negative, the smaller the boiling point. Okay? So propane. There we go. And then name one substance that is a gas at room temperature. They just want us to name one substance, but it doesn't mean that there's more than one substance in this table. And we already discussed this. Remember, room temperature is around 20 degrees or whatever, somewhere around there. So at 
boiling points, if you look at propane, negative 42 degrees Celsius already, this substance starts boiling, which means it turns into a gas at negative 42 degrees. So at negative 40 degrees, at negative 30 degrees, at zero degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, room temperature, it'll still be a gas. Okay, so basically, if room temperature is above the boiling point, then the substance will be in its gaseous phase. So you can answer either propane or butane. Okay, because butane boils at negative one and room temperature is above negative one. There we go. Our next question says propane, butane, pentane, heptane, all these alkanes are non-polar molecules. Name the type of van der Waals forces present between these molecules. Now you need to know that if molecules are non-polar, so if you have a propane molecule and a propane molecule, or a butane molecule and a butane molecule, or even a propane and a heptane, or whatever, two non-polar molecules, they have induced dipole, induced dipole forces present between the molecules, otherwise known as London forces, the weaker out of the intermolecular forces that we speak about. So answer, London forces. State the trend with respect to the boiling points of these compounds as shown in the table. So what they want us to do is they want us to look at the substances, they want us to look at the boiling points, and look at what we think is happening. So if you take a careful look, we go from propane through to heptane. Look what happens to the molecule. Propane is C3H8, butane C4H10, pentane C5H12, and heptane C7H16. So I hope you're noticing that the compounds are getting bigger. If you're to draw them, they would get longer, longer chain length, bigger compound, larger relative molecular mass. They've given you this column over here for a reason. There's hardly ever a time in physics, chemistry, when something is given for no reason. So as you can see, as we go from propane, which has three carbons, down to heptane, which has seven carbons, the relative molecular mass increases. And what's happening as the relative molecular mass is increasing? What's happening to the trend in boiling points? The boiling points are increasing. There we go. That is how you would answer that question. And then they want me to explain the answer to the previous question by referring to the strengths of the forces and the energies involved. Now, please, when a question explicitly tells you what they want from you, and when I say that, I mean they spell it out. They say they want you to mention the strengths. And they want you to mention the energies. Please make sure you include both of those in your answer. So what you would say is that as the molecular mass increases, what this basically means is that the surface area of the molecule increases, which means that there would, will be more London forces. And if there's more London forces, it means that there's stronger London forces. And the stronger the London forces, so as we go from C3H8, so from propane to heptane, higher molecular mass, higher surface area, more London forces, stronger London forces, therefore more energy is required to overcome these forces. That is how you would explain it. There we go, I've written it out for you. And by the way, requiring more energy to overcome these intermolecular forces, this is the reason why the boiling point increases. This is why heptane has a higher boiling point. It needs more energy to overcome the stronger intermolecular forces. I hope this video has been helpful. Please let me know if you would like more exam videos. I do have a few more in my playlist link below. Subscribe for more videos like this. Can't wait to see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.